Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League One Predictions. This video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. The part of the deal that I've done with the company where for grid to sell my first up match. The links for that are down in the description below. Please feel free to check it out after watching this video. For the first time this season we are going to have a look at the League One table. If you'd like to see me do this week in, week out, um, look at the league table, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, but anyway, as I said, let's go look at the league one table before I, hit, before I do my predictions and talk about the uh, weekend results. Um, so it all starts with Itridge in first, doing very well, 21 points, ain't lost the game yet. With uh, six wins and drawn three. Um, Coventry in second. Yeah, doing well ever since losing the Rico Arena. Didn't lose it. They just got there this season for whatever uh, circumstances. Um, but yeah, again, 1-5, drawn four. Two points off of Itchridge um, in second place. Third, you got Wickham. You know, uh, drawn points with Crawley, but the only difference between Wickham and uh, sorry, Coventry, well, Crawley, it's Coventry, um, is they played a game more. Um, Coventry didn't play this week because of the Berry, um, you know, and in the League One after being expelled, or whatever you want to call it. In fourth place is Fleetwood, and then finishing up the plus spots is Sunderland and Blackpool. Both on 16 points, Fleetwood on 17 points. Um, then the top, uh, top 10 finishes like Doncaster in 7th for 15, Bristol Rovers in 8th for 15, Peterborough in 9th in, uh, with 14 points, and Lincoln, who had a big uh, result against them this weekend down in uh, down in tenth with fair team points drawn with Shrewsbury on points um, as you can all see anyway the relegation at the minute obviously it's 23 teams this year because of Berry you got Bolton in 23rd Wimbledon in 22nd and Southend in 21st and Portsmouth just two points off the relegation zone um. You know, Bolton had a great week this week. Picked up another point. Should possibly be all three, but I'll talk about more about that as I get into their game. And obviously, like all the other results. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So, the first game I'll talk about is Bristol Rovers versus Rotherham. Bristol Rovers beaten Wimbledon 3 1 away from home. Rotherham. And now now at home to Shrewsbury. That Rotherham result is probably more of a shocked result in the Rotherham end. Purely because they're at home and they're performing so well this season. Um, you know, but I think that's a good point for Shrewsbury uh, away from home. Bristol Rovers beating Wimbledon 3-1 away from home. It is probably more of a... You know, surprise. Um, no disrespect to Wimbledon, no disrespect to Bristol Rovers, but how tight this league is, you'll probably just tip Wimbledon off to win that game. But, you know, it didn't happen. So for this game, I'll go for a 2 1 Bristol Rovers win. My next one is Coventry versus Doncaster. Now, Doncaster beating um, Peterborough 2-0 at home and Coventry City didn't have a game because um, I think that's supposed to be planned buried the previous week had just gone so Coventry have had a week off as well and sitting comfortably in second place um, but Doncaster 2-0 at home against Peterborough. Probably a lot of expectations for Doncaster this season. 
obviously because I've been in League One for so long, and you, the fa most fans should know that you you get settled into League, especially when, when you play it year in year out. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a two 0 Coventry City win. My next one is Ittridge versus Tramia. Ittridge beating Gillingham one 0 away from home. Tramia beating Burton Albion two one at home. Um, both results no shocks really. Good three points for Ittridge Town again, and um, I very much. I uh, think they will get promoted back to the championship. Uh, you know, but where do you go from Premier League? <coughs> excuse me. Premier League to championship, and then obviously went down to League One. I still don't think it should be in League One. I really don't. I think they're one of them clubs that just had a bad season. And ended up getting relegated, unfortunately. But I strongly do believe that Itchers will come back up, as I say, week in, week out. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Itchers win. My next one is Oxford versus Gillingham. Oxford beating Lincoln away from home 6 0. Great result for Oxford. Because Lincoln ain't got a game this week either, there's a few teams not playing this week. Tell me why, if you know. Um, if you support Lincoln, Burton Albion, or Blackpool. Um, as I said, I don't know why they're not playing this weekend in League 1, but they're not. So... If you know why, please feel free to put it down in the comments below and let me know because I really am interested. I understand the one team not playing, but I don't understand why you got about three, four teams not playing this weekend. As I said, if you know, please let me know in the comments below. But back to the game, Oxford beating Lincoln at home 6-0. Is, this is a, a bad fortune for Lincoln. Obviously losing their managers, and yet their managers did lose the second week at Huddersfield um, after going 2-1 up, I think. But um, bad fortune for Lincoln. Bad that the office for Lincoln. Gillingham losing 1-0 at home to Ittridge. No real biggie, but as far as this one goes, I've gone for... A 2-1 Oxford win. My next one is Peace by versus Wimbledon. Wimbledon won all at home to... Uh, sorry, lost 3-1 at home to Bristol Rovers. Peter Wright loses 2-0 away to Doncaster. No real big results. Just going to give you the result that I predicted for this one. And I've gone for a 2-0 piece by a win. My next one is Portsmouth versus Bolton. Portsmouth losing 1-0 away from home to Wickham. Bad that the office for um, <sighs> Portsmouth. Um, Bolton are very, very unlucky not to get the three points against Sunderland. I think... Sunderland scores in the 90th minute, something like that. It is one of them things. But I do think Bolton are on their way back up and are currently sitting in the table on minus nine. Um, but Bolton, you know, I think get their first goal, nearly got their first win. I don't, can't see it being too far away. My only Big question is, is how far they're going to be away from safety after they get past this minus nine. And um, obviously, because they started on minus 12 points deduction. Um, but, you know, not bad that the office for Bolton. 
I won all bad day at the office for Portsmouth. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'm going to give it to Bolton and I'm going to go for a 3 2 Bolton win. My next one is Rochdale versus Wickham. Wickham, as I've just said, beat Portsmouth at home 1 0. Rochdale losing 2 1 away to Fleetwood. Um, not the only big one probably shouting at me is that Wickham result. Great three points for Wickham. Can they do it for the second week running, just like Northampton Town are down in League 2? And I predicted yes. <laughs> um, and I've gone for a 3-1 Wickham win. My next one is Shrewsbury Town versus Fleetwood. Fleetwood, as I just said, beating Rochdale 2-1 at home. Shrewsbury 0-0 at home to uh, away to Rotherham. Um, you know, where do you go with... I mean, Fleetwood's result, as I've just said, probably expected, so I ain't going to talk about that too much, but great three points for Fleetwood. Um, Shrewsbury Town, great point away from home against uh, what, uh, Rotherham. Got there in the end. Um, but where do you go with this result? But I've gone for a 3-1 Fleetwood win. My next one is Southend versus Atkins Stanley. Atkins Stanley at home drew one all with Blackpool. Southend beating MK Dons 1-0 away from home. Great three points for Southend. Um, and a great point for African Stanley, considering where Blackpool are and they're out with their troubles, uh, touch wood. Um, but, you know, uh, great, great. Uh, uh, right South End is probably the most shocking one, if I'm all honest. Um, you know, great three points away from home at. Um, MK Dons. Are MK Dons troubles over? That's one thing I've got to start questioning. Only because of the size of their stadium, obviously, you've all seen it. Um, can they main hold that stadium with the money that's been brought in week in, week out? You know, they're going to, I really do think, going to have to watch their step. Um, you know, down in 15th or in the table. You know, they've only they've played nine. One, four, lost five. They're going to have to start getting people in them seats, I, I really do believe. Um, so as far as this one goes, I've gone for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Sunderland versus Milton Keynes. Dons. Um, Sunderland one all at Bolton. Um, I've just let you uh, mention Mountain Kings losing one 0 at home to South End. Um, let's go to talk about that Bolton Sunderland game on a Sunderland point of view, and I want to talk about it because. Let's be honest, they're one of the favourites to come back up into the championship. But where do you go? Some of the fans, are you happy with that point? I know it's last minute, I do remember that. Um, but did you actually go to Bolton and thinking you are going to get all three? Please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but I was... I, was, I mean, I, when I... Um, because I'm not most of you, but when I'm at home, I watch the scores and stuff like that. I was thinking, Sunderland drawing at Bolton. Bolton should take a lot of uh, out of that, a lot of confidence out of that um, game. But as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. But, guys, anyway, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.